Good evening. Hello, uh, special guests and uh, all the friends and families here. We have uh, State Rep Hubert Vaughn, Adrian Garcia. We have uh, a lot of good friends, Stephen Lee, Mr. Kenny Lee. Uh, if I name every one of them tonight, it's going to take a long way. Let's make all family here. But most important thing is, most important thing is, um, thank you for your valuable time. Take a really special time. Um, you know, it, it goes a long way. Um, and, uh, you know, I know the holidays right around the corner. Uh, you know, everyone's, uh, you know, very, very little time left. So I want to um, thanks again. And uh, I will really Mr. Hibbervar to to uh, Mr. Tunner. Thank you. First, I want to uh, thank Kathy and uh, Richard for hosting this event for Sylvester Turner. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to recognize uh, our former sheriff, Edwin Garcia. Uh, I'm, really, uh, I'm very proud to be here tonight uh, in support of uh, my friend, my colleague, Sylvester Turner. During our time in the Texas legislature, I have the opportunity to to know Sylvester, he's a natural leader, and he's a man of good character. Uh, during his time, he has received numerous awards, including the most valuable player in the legislature. And Sylvester Turner has held so many important committees, including the vice chair of the appropriation committee, and his fight is always for uh, People uh, who doesn't have a voice, who don't have a voice, and for small business also. And uh, I, I know just like many of you, the city of Houston is the fourth largest city in the nation, and we all want to have the next mayor who be able to do a good job for our city. And with that, I believe, and I am, I know for sure that uh, Sylvester Turner will be the best person to lead our city. And with that, I'd like to ask my friend, my colleague, Sebastian Turner, to come up here and say a few words. Let me start off by thanking Representative Hewitt Fo. Uh, not only is he my colleague, he is my friend. And I want to thank him. And let me just say off the bat uh, that the Asian community have two very important members of the Texas legislature. Uh, Representative Hubert Vaux is one, uh, a champion within our Democratic Party, one of the leaders, uh, like a majority whip within our Democratic Party. And so I want to thank him for his leadership. Please join me in thanking Representative Hubert Vaux. Thank you. And then also, I certainly want to acknowledge Representative Gene Wu, who is also in the legislature, and I've had an opportunity and privilege of working with him. And so even in this, uh, in, with him not being here, I certainly want to acknowledge him. And then let me quickly acknowledge uh, the host for this evening, uh, Richard and Kathy. Kathy, thank you so very much. Look, I knew it was going to be nice. Okay, I knew the event was going to be nice. I just think, Adrian, I didn't know how nice it was going to be. And so as I was driving up, I looked up and saw the, 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 the digital sign up there that just blew me away. In fact, I had him to drive back around one more time. Uh, so look, I, I cannot thank the two of you enough. Uh, just, just awesome. An awesome display of support. I appreciate the two of you. Uh, it also says just how great this city is and what great people we have in this city that we really need to make sure that we bring them out into the light of day. And so Richard and Kathy, thank you for just being solid, strong Houstonians and just representing the city of Houston extremely well. And I'm giving the opportunity to be there. I look forward to partnering with you because I want to like to include you on some other things uh, in this city. So thank you to the two of you. And then I am just honored um, 
And let me just tell you, I've been very, very blessed to have someone where we were in the same race together uh, and now to be joining with me in this campaign. And someone who has just not meant his name, but really has been out there campaigning for me as if he was campaigning for himself. And quite frankly, he's blown me away. And so please give it up to a good friend, uh, former Chef Adrian Garcia. Thank you, man. Now, I want you to know we have some great leaders in this city. And just because Adrian is not in the mayor's race, doesn't mean that his contribution to this city comes to an end. And so uh, I certainly want to lean on him very heavily. I'm leaning on him very heavily in this campaign. Uh, but he is such an asset to this city, and I just want him to know that this is a grateful city that's always will be responsive to him, appreciate him, and so thank you, man, for everything you continue to do. Okay? And before, and before, and before we leave it up, I would love him to say something uh, as well before we, before we step away. To all of you, let me say thank you. Let me thank you for being here. Um, this is a great city. Uh, both Adrian and I grew up in this city. Backgrounds are very similar in this city. And we recognize the diversity that exists within this city. This is the most diverse city of any city in the country. It is. And, diverse, and that diversity is great. But let me tell you, that's just the first step. What's important is the second step. And that is we are the most diverse city, but we also need to be the most inclusive city. And what I mean by that is that when you look at the city's workforce, you ought to see, be able to see that diversity. When you look at those who are receiving the economic opportunities in this city, you ought to be able to see that diversity. When you look at those who are sitting around on the planning committees and the boards, uh, uh, the task force, the advisory committees, you ought to see people from the Asian, the Hispanic community, African American community, all sitting at that seat. It's one thing for me to be mayor, but it's another thing to have that diversity at the seats of decision making, where people can speak for themselves and the communities that they represent. I want to be the mayor of this city. But I want to be a mayor of a city that's diverse and highly in And I certainly am asking you to help me to make that happen. You know, lastly, lastly, we are nine days away from the final day to, to vote. Uh, I hope you will encourage people to vote right now. You can vote from December the 2nd through December the 8th early, 7 to 7. And please encourage people to go out and vote. That's important. Uh, what we have discovered as go early vote, so will go the election. And so you can't wait till December the 12th. December the 12th is a little bit too late. You gotta vote early. And even though the polls look good for us, um, I think one thing I've learned, polls don't vote, people vote. And so we need you to vote. We need you to encourage others to vote and encourage them to vote early. And then when all is said and done, then we can certainly look at this city I was talking to Richard, we want to build a city uh, for the middle class that it gives everyone a sense of opportunity and a sense of hope. And so, uh, again, I want to thank Representative Hubert Foe. Thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate your friendship. Uh, to people like Steve and Kenneth, we've been together all day as well. So I want to thank all of you. But let me just say, let's, let's move this city forward. Let's be the city of opportunity. And let's be the city where we recognize that its greatest days are in front of us and not behind us. Let's move this city forward and let's build this city together. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your contribution. I'll see you at City Hall.